It's the third Thursday of April. My Bonanza is unfortunately still in the shop. But that means I go to Mason City tonight in the Cirrus, November 822 Golf Tango. This uh, belongs to Flying Club here in Cedar Rapids, and uh, I do a lot of flight training, usually from the right seat. Tonight I'll be flying alone from the left seat, and I'll use this opportunity to show you a little bit about the Cirrus and um, come along for the ride. This is a 2006 SR20, um, generation two with the Avidyne avionics system. Uh, not the earliest, which had steam gauges, not the latest with the Garmin perspective system, so somewhere in between. This one has a uh, three blade prop. It's got a 200 horsepower engine, uh, not exactly spoiled with horsepower. So climb rate isn't, isn't all that great and your know, useful load isn't all that great. But uh, hey, it gets me to Mason City. This is the center console here, and uh, you know I've, I've heard it being called the circle of life because literally everything that can kill you is right here. So the flap switch is here, throttle lever, mixture, fuel selector, and then the boost pump or prime. So the most important things for takeoff and landing are are right there. One thing that you don't see here is a propeller control, and that's by design. The propeller control is integrated into the throttle lever. If I push it all the way forward, this is maximum RPM, about 2700. Then as I reduce the throttle, the very first thing that happens is propeller RPM gets reduced to uh, about 2500, and only then do I get a reduction in manifold pressure. So. Throttle and propeller are one control in the service. It's a pretty spacious cockpit uh, where you know two people, even my size, a little taller, a little heavier, can sit side by side without rubbing shoulders. So pretty nice for instruction. I completed my exterior check. I've got a printed checklist for the uh, items here until the engine's running, the avionics is up, and then will go to the MFD, which has an electronic checklist. So, uh, before engine start, pre-flight inspection is complete. Everything was to my satisfaction. Skipping the passenger briefing because, oh, oh passenger. Uh, seat belts fastened, baggage is secure, flight controls. The famous side stick, free and correct. Fuel selector, uh, start the engine on the left tank. Both tanks are about the same level. Alternate air and static valve are closed. It's down here by my right leg. Friction lock feels good. Mixture is lean. Avionics master is off. Alternator one and two off. Battery master one and two are on. And on the vault mirror I see a good 24 volts. Stop lights on. Starting engine, mixture, full rich, power lever, full forward, fuel prime, prime for two seconds, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. And then retard the power to just idle. And I'll get the fuel pump to boost and crank clear prop. Pressure is uh, good. Alternator is on. Avionics master. Fuel uh, selector, switch tanks. Make sure we can draw from both. That's all I need with the written checklist. Okay, we got the same IFD that I have in the Bonanza, KMC 
W is my destination. Activate that flight plan. And I see it on the MFD, and I see KMCW on the PFD. The, the PFD is a lot more important here than my uh, my steam gauges for navigation because I do source selection here, so I can cycle between GPS and VLOG one or GPS two and VLOG two. So going back to GPS one, KMCW, Mason City Airport is my destination. And I don't need to slew the course point. In fact, I can. It's automatically programmed by the GPS for my desired track. All right, altimeter 3023. Got to set that here. And altitude checks. Set the standby as well. Altitude checks as well. Checklist. Uh, before taxiing. Brakes are checked, uh, flap zero, radios, I got ground and tower here, and I got my, my flight plan, well, I don't need the heat today, I will need the uh, cold air on, and before, during taxi, I'll check the gyros, get over to the west ramp, and then I'll get my clearance there, I found IFR, even though the weather is beautiful, VFR, but I always enjoy having a second pair of eyes on my flight. Checking in this turn here. Turning, turning. This is the rate of turn indicator here, and the attitude indicator is erect, so gyros work fine. Steering is through differential braking in the Cirrus. There's no nose wheel steering. That takes a little getting used to, but uh, no big deal after a, little, a while. All right, I checked all this during taxi. There's 269 Joey, Mike, Cedar Rapids Tower, runway 31, cleared to land, wind 010 at 8, gust 13. Before takeoff, the caps handle, caps handle, the safety pin here has been removed. The caps handle for the parachute is accessible. Seat belts and shoulder harness are secure. Doors latched. Uh, brakes hold flight controls are free and correct. Trim set for takeoff. Autopilot, quick functional test for the autopilot. Make sure it turns and disconnects. It is turning. It disconnects. And retrim the aileron. That's 50%. Verified. Flight and engine instruments, everything's good. Directional gyro check. The fuel quantity is good. Field selector taking off from the right tank. Now I'm checking the propeller. Should be a slight decrease of RPM once the governor kicks in. There it is. I go to 1700 RPM. Turn all the electrical consumers on. Make sure that none of my warning lights for the alternators are. Amp meter shows normal, 28 volts, everything is good. And then the ignition system. Left, right, electrical consumers off and back to idle RPM. Make sure I didn't skip anything. Good evening, Cirrus A22 Golf Tango, IFR2 Mason City, ready to copy. Cirrus A22 Golf Tango, Cedar Rapids, Marsh Delivery, clear to Mason City Airport via as filed, maintain 5000, expect 6010 minutes after departure, departure frequency 119.7, squawk 1371. Cirrus A22 Golf Tango, clear to the Mason City Airport as filed, climb maintain 5000, expect 6010 minutes after, 119.7, squawk 1371. There's two Golf Tango, reback ground. The Cedar Rapids ground, Cirrus E22 Golf Tango, information Yankee at the west ramp, ready for taxi, you uh, would like full length 3-1 if possible. Cirrus A22 Golf Tango, Cedar Rapids ground, runway 3-1, taxi via Alpha, hold short, runway 3-1 at Alpha. 3-1, taxi via Alpha, hold short of runway 3-1 at Alpha, Cirrus E22 Golf Tango.
clear all around. Approaching Alpha, it'll be a left turn, clear on the left, clear on the right. Mike, turn right runway 27, right on Charlie to the east, east remain this frequency. There's two Golf Tango, are you ready or do you need a run up? Sir, so two Golf Tango is ready, I'd like uh, to back taxi for full length, please. Sir, say two, two Golf Tango, roger. Uh, back taxi, runway 31, 180 at the end, and advise ready. Back taxi 31, 180, advise at the end. Two Approaching Golf Tango. runway 13. Three two one. Tango, you can go ahead and uh, change the tower frequency. Enter two runway Tango, one three three one. All right, clear left, clear right. Landing light on. Right turn on the runway. Approaching Roughly runway seven. zero nine There's two seven. Taxi there. Clear on the right. Entered runway 0927. Right, this will be a normal takeoff from runway 31 at Cedar Rapids. I expect you use about 1,000 feet of runway. Got 6,000 available, so no problem there. Um, caps altitude is 500 AGL or 1360 given our field elevation. If I have a complete loss of engine power, below 1360, I'm going to land ahead, it's below caps altitude, above 1360, it's going to be an immediate caps pull if I have full, complete loss of engine power. Okay, I got uh, tower here, got my engine page up. Circle of life, boost pump on, 50, mixture full rich. Good tank. Sealups Tower, Cirrus 822 Golf Tango, runway 31, ready for departure. Cirrus 822 Golf Tango, Cedar Rapids Tower, fly runway heading, runway 31, clear for takeoff, went 350 at 3. Runway 31, clear for takeoff, and runway heading, Cirrus 2 Golf Tango. Alright, takeoff power is set. Temperature, pressure, fuel flow checked. Sixty-five, rotate. Eighty-five, flaps up. And caps is available. There's two golf tango contact portion. Contact portion says two golf tango. Have a good night. You too. In 4000. See the departure. Good evening. Cirrus 822 golf tango 1700. Climbing 5000. Cirrus 822 golf tango. See the rapid departure radar contact. Climbing tank 6000. Turn right direct Mason City. 6000 direct Mason City. Cirrus 822 golf tango. Right, no longer need the boost pump. I can go to my map. I'm pretty much on course. I'm going to do the handshake on the autopilot here. Uh, autopilot on IAS to altitude and nav. And what that means is it's going to fly my speed okay, target. Five seven out of mine. Clear the approach. I was sitting at altitude. And it's then five seven out of mine. Two MC out of mine. No five seven out of mine. Traffic at six miles south. East of uh, Iowa City, inbound is the uh, Trinidad at 2000. Climb checklist. We have him on the TTF 579. Climb power is set. Report cancellation of IFR on the frequency for on the ground, 119.05. Change the 5 frequency approved. Alright, 1000 feet to go. Rate of climb is not bad tonight, 7-800 feet per minute. Oh, pretty light. 
got the tanks about half full and uh, there's only one on me, so uh, if, if this was a hot summer night with four people and full fuel, uh, the, this SR-20 would be struggling. Autopilot is beginning to level off. Very smooth. Cedar Rapids departure, sit to 6531, Mike 1550 going to 3000. Since the 6531 Mike Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, B4 Alpha. Okay, and I can't make right a power reduction uh, for cruise. Right on course, altitude, my discretion, 31 Mike. Pull the combined power and prop lever back for the RPM. Just until the RPM gets its cruise Just value. Just approach 5 Alpha Charlie, 3500. I'm going to lean the mixture. Sir. Sure. lean assist. Roger. And what it's going to show me is when each cylinder reaches peak EGT. And then from there, I go to my best economy setting. That's it for leaning. 44 minutes to go, we got a 15 knot headwind. Right on the nose. I like how this Avidyne DFC-90 flies the plane, the, the autopilot. Wish there was a way to retrofit that in my Bonanza, but unfortunately, Avidyne doesn't make their own servos. So, uh, I would have to install an Aztec autopilot first, only to then rip it out and, and reuse the servos from that Aztec installation. It's very well integrated with the PFD here. The uh, modes are enunciated here. So autopilot is on, I'm in nav mode laterally and altitude mode vertically. My targets for altitude, speed are here. Um, you know, later in the descent we'll get a, a vertical speed target. Really neat integration. Alright, time for the cruise checklist. Cruise power has been set, lean of peak. Engines, once everything looks good, uh, fuel flow and balance is still good. When I get closer to water, we will switch tanks. And I'm leaned. Next checklist will be descent. Here, say 22 Gulf Tango, contact Waterloo approach 118.9 or CS. 118.9 or CS, 22 Gulf Tango, have a good night. Hey, Martin. Hello. Waterloo approach, good evening. Cirrus, 822 Gulf Tango, level 6000. Cirrus, 822 Gulf Tango, Waterloo approach, Waterloo altimeter 3024. 3024, thank you. All right, I got a new altimeter. That, that here, not much of a change, but what, what little change I had, the autopilot is going to you know, descend 10 feet or so now to uh, get us back to 6,000. In the Bonanza, I'd have to disengage altitude hold mode, Century 3, uh, climb or descend as the uh, five zero pump contact out. Hold. Four tower, five zero pump. The uh, Vinton airport is to my right. One of departure, Cherokee 39 Bravo Charlie, 1,800 for 4,000. Cherokee 39 Bravo Charlie, one of the departure radar contact. When I first started flying the Cirrus, I thought getting used to the side stick would take some time, but that really was no big deal at all. Um, what I have here is I have... Waterloo, uh, twin system, 421 Charlie Yankee, checking in 4,000. And uh, that's elevator trip and uh, four, two, one, aileron trip Yankee, Waterloo, 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 and the push to talk station. Then auto my autopilot disconnect. If I push this this uh, trip knob down, it's an autopilot disconnect. And really the only thing I don't like very much is that the trip is extremely sensitive. Uh, you know, it feels like you push it for a millisecond and it's already out of trip the other way. Um, I, I wish it was a little slower. But other than that, you know, it's 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 not bad to hand fly. I wouldn't say it's a joy to hand fly. Much prefer the Bonanza, but it's uh, it's not bad. All right, let me take a look at Mason City. See a full stop for Cap 1303. 120.3. Cap 1303. Roger. And current wind at Waterloo is 3106. Would you like the RNF runway 30 on Not receiving yet. Uh, can we continue on this approach? I could do a low approach. But here and on the then, trip gauge, uh, I can traffic, see. Circle land on my 30. That works too. 
Mason City, 39 minutes. Cap 1303, at six. So Bay uh, 30 would be good. Uh, good visibility, no clouds. Should be really easy. Well, last time I tried this a month ago in uh, March, I got to about this point here, short of Waterloo. And uh, I turned around because there was uh, a little bit of a drizzle and temperature was below zero Celsius. And uh, the, the Cirrus is, you know, it does many things well, but flying in ice is not one of them. Unless you have ice protection system, which this SR-20 doesn't have. This primary flight display here is simple. It doesn't have any, any of the latest uh, bells and whistles like synthetic vision. But I like it because it has everything I need in, uh, in, a, in a good presentation here without making it look cluttered or small. It's large enough to be readable. I've uh, got a lot of space for my horizon, the speed tape, the altitude tape. Um, I can switch the uh, HSI into an arc mode to make it a little more, more readable or go back to the rose mode to make it more complete. Got my wind readout, you know, nothing, nothing super fancy, but, but everything I think I would want on a PFD is, is right here. So performance, I got my indicated SP 131, true ESP 145. The headwind is uh, taking away quite a bit of that, but I'm doing that on nine and a half gallons per hour. That's not bad for fuel economy. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing the old David Clark headset, uh, I simply forgot my flight bag at home this morning. Came uh, straight to the airport from work and uh, just realized on the way to the airport that my headset was in the flight bag. So I'm spoiled with the Bonanza to uh, have everything in there, so I just need to have my certificate on me when I, when I leave from home and that's it. But uh, when you share a plane, I gotta, I gotta remember these things, and today I didn't. So why am I not flying the Bonanza tonight? Bonanza is in the shop, has been in the shop for a while, will probably be uh, in there for another couple of months or so, because my autopilot broke, and I'm getting a new one. There'll be some videos about what I'm installing, uh, and then of course when it's done, I'll, I'll be showing it off to you guys. Um, but you know, until then, I can't fly it, and it's been a while. I missed the Bonanza. Turkey Niner Bravo Charlie, contact Minneapolis Center, 127.3. Minneapolis, 127.3, see ya. Halfway there, I'm going to switch the tanks now. To do that, I'm turning the boost pump on. Over the left tank, boost pump on. Permental 8 Delta Hotel, radar contact, water low altimeter 3023. 3023. 938 Delta Hotel, thank you. It's an absolutely stunning night to fly here. Not bumpy. No, it would be nice if that headwind was a tailwind, but of course I'll get that, I'll get that on the way back. Really good visibility. You know, the only thing that limits it a little bit is uh, some fires and great little smoke. Let's see, so on the charts page I can bring up Jefferson charts. Uh, let's bring up the destination chart, autofill MCW, and I can select between the airport diagram or instrument approach charts. The airport diagram is what I want right now. Waterloo, Sears 1951 Golf, uh, 8000. I can cycle two different Sears, modes here. Sears 1951 Golf, Waterloo Approach, Waterloo Altimeter 3023. Yeah, screen resolution three isn't, three isn't one too nine great, nine. so... I may need to move around or select uh, the portions of the chart to make it readable. That's why the iPad is, is nice. Um, I see here my weather, my ASOS is 120.3. I have that on uh, my number two com and the CTAP 123.0. And then I have 127.3 Minneapolis Center. I already have that in the standby of my number one com. With the wind from 320, I uh, expect we'll land runway 30. There's two Gulf Tango contact Minneapolis Center, 127.3, good day. 127.3, there's two Gulf Tango, have a good evening. 
Minneapolis, St. Louis, good evening, Cirrus, A22 Golf Tango, level 6000. A22 Golf Tango, Minneapolis, Center, Roger, Mason City, Altibus, 3025. 3025, thank you. 50 Zulu, wind 030 at 07, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 16 Celsius, dew point 01 Celsius, altimeter 3024, remarks, density altitude 1200, Mason City Municipal Airport, automated weather up. Okay, so the wind turned to north. Uh, I could go land on runway 36, but the wind is so light. Uh, runway 30 is really more efficient for where I want to park. Uh, I'm going to play it by ear, see what traffic is uh, like. Uh, I can get pretty busy in Mason City on a third Thursday on a, on a nice evening with uh, people flying in for the barbecue. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave the runway choice open 30. And if it looks like people are using 3.6, I'll uh, use that instead. Cirrus, 82 Golf Tango, I have the weather and notice for Mason City. 2 Golf Tango, roger, and uh, use plan on visual today. Affirmative, yeah, I'll cancel when I get a little closer. 2 Golf Tango. 2 Golf Tango, roger. All right, I have the uh, CTAF now on my Golf 2. Mason City traffic, Skyhawk 181, turning left down 130, Mason City. So everything I heard so far is using runway 3 Mason traffic, Niner Bravo, Charlie, Port Mile, final 3 0, Mason City. We'll use 3 0 as well. So what I'm going to do, 3 0, um, I don't like to go straight into final when I arrive at a Round about quarter mile, to your 5 o'clock. I'm going to make a uh, to, 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 to enter a downwind for 3 0. City traffic, flight of four Super Cubs, we're two miles to the west, it's bound for 3-0. I got the Cherokee ahead of me in sight, we'll follow you in. Five of four. Skyhawk 181, left base, 3-0, full stop, Mason City. So I know Doug Rosendahl has a really big tree tonight for everyone in Mason City. He has a B-25 on the field that he was flying earlier today. And I can't wait to check that one out. AC2 Golf Tango, descent of pilot's discretion, maintain 4,000. Pilot's discretion, 4,000, Cirrus, AC2 Golf Tango. Okay, so I can go to 4,000. Oops. And uh, the IFD thinks I should descend now. I'm going to dial in. I don't know if I can slow down much more, big boy. Yeah, and then, and then, Minneapolis Center, how long is it And out. Ready about 45 seconds. Medical speed out. So I'm going to start a descent to get to 4,000. Descent checklist. Read back, correct. Thank you. Altimeter is set. Cabin heat is good. Fuel system uh, can stay on the left tank. Mixture enrich just a tad bit. Flaps. GPS 2572. No and brake pressure. Brake pedals feel normal. Cirrus A22 Golf Tango has, many up, has uh, Mason City inside, would like to cancel IFR. C2 Golf Tango, Roger, IFR cancellation is received. Squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency, good day. Squawk VFR, going to advisory, thanks for the help, Cirrus A22 Golf Tango. Alright, changing to heading mode to go a little south. Mason City traffic, Cirrus, two golf tango is uh, eight to the southeast, 4,000 descending. We'll enter the uh, downwind runway 30, Mason City. And Mason City traffic, uh, Cup 618 is on the midfield left and downwind, 30. Mason traffic, Cup 618 is short final, 30. Pure mixture, all rich. Boost, flaps, I'm gonna just use in the downwind the base. Landing light is still on, autopilot uh, will be disengaged. Still got about a thousand feet to lose pad and altitude.
be on the right. Mason City traffic, Cirrus 2 golf tango and entering downwind from runway 30, full stop Mason City. Alright, 100 knots is my speed target for the downwind. Circle of live, full ridge, boost pump on, good tank. Gonna bring the flaps to 50% now at the beam point. And the speed targets are 100 on the downwind, 90 on base with full flaps, and then 78 on final. Mason City traffic, Cirrus 2 Golf Tango, left base, 3-0, full stop, Mason City. Alright, flaps full. This requires a little nose down trim to maintain 90. Be on final. Mason City traffic, Cirrus 2 Golf Tango turning final runway 30, full stop landing, Mason City. Short final runway 30. Right, we got a little bit of wind from the right. Touchdown. Mason City traffic. Sirs Chugov Tango is clear of the runway, taxiing to the ramp, Mason City. Either parked in front of the FBO or we've been putting heart service uh, nose wheel stuff to the south on the new taxiway. It's up to you. Uh, doesn't matter to me. I, I just uh, need fuel. What's the easiest for the truck to get to? In front of the FBO. Okay, I'll park here. 